Oedipus complex, a condition which denotes the emotions and ideas that the mind keeps in the unconscious via dynamic repression that concentrate upon a boy's desire to sexually possess his mother and kill his father. It's also a bitchin' name for a band. Excellent! Now, whether you're familiar with Freud and his psychosexual development model for children, more than likely you are familiar with Oedipus Complex. You've probably heard it before in movies, TV shows, on the radio, in books, you've probably read about it. And basically what it comes down to is a son wanting to fuck his mother. Oh sure, the justifications and the reasons behind why they want to fuck mommy may vary, but the end result, somebody's fucking mommy. And so what does that have to do with the video? Well, pretty much everything, actually. This is Canadian Insanity, and today you're going to be meeting a person who fits that definition. She's both Canadian and she's insane. I'm talking about none other than Mama K. So we're going to take a look at this, and I'm going to fill you in on the backstory and who these people are and how I came across them. Prepare to have your minds blown like a gunshot to the head. This is going to absolutely stun the shit out of you. And it's a great thing about the Internet. Sometimes crazy and a camcorder come together in just such a way that we get to watch it all unfold. So, here we go. Let's look at the backstory, who these people are, why they're relevant, what's important, what's going on here, and who the fuck is Mama K. How do they taste? Great. Do they taste as good as the love I have for you? Now, originally my plan for this video was to show a host of clips from a YouTube account called Life of a Great Mommy. This is Mama K's account, Catherine Marion. She's a Canadian resident who owned a YouTube channel that had upwards of about 500 videos. And boy, these videos were precious, let me tell you. Uh, they included all sorts of fun things, like naked bath time with her 13-year-old son, yelling at her dying grandmother in the hospital, feeding her son kelp noodles because he's a vegan boy, and my favorite, my personal favorite, sexy stripper dance for his Christmas present. And so sadly, this was ruined because a white knight decided to go and flag the shit out of the account thinking they were doing a good, and all they've done is take away all these glorious videos that... Child Protective Services could have taken a look at, and we could have as well. But now they're gone, because some asshole wanted to do right. Luckily, there are multiple accounts. She has multiple accounts out there, and some of these wondrous videos still exist. White Knights apparently haven't found them yet. So we're going to be analyzing them and talking about her. So let's get the uh, facts out of the way real quick. Who is Mama K? Give me a little background on this psychotic bitch. Well, originally I'd come across her about a week ago on the internet. Uh, people were starting to talk about her, somebody had posted a couple of her videos, this got everybody interested, and it just it went downhill from there. She is a single 50 year old woman, 50 plus year old woman, who is insane. And I don't use the word lightly, I mean she really is insane. She, she honest to God, she's insane. She is a vegan, a holistic healer, she does strip dancing and burlesque shows, she's also a prostitute. She lives with her 14-year-old son who was taken away from her twice by the Canadian government services because of allegations of sexual molestation. She had multiple videos up detailing every single fucking day that they lived together. If her sweet baby boy King Kalen took a poo-poo, mommy was there to film it. If mommy took a bath, he was there to film it. It is a sick relationship. Now to understand Mama K, the first thing you really need to understand is that she is a hardcore vegan. A lifestyle she's imposed on her poor innocent little boy. And if you take a look at Kalen, you can really see it. He's emaciated, he's underweight, he's pale, he looks sickly. He just doesn't look very happy. And can you blame him? Now, vegans are different than vegetarians, and she's, you know, different than even normal vegans are. She is fucking hardcore parkour about this shit. Let's uh, just, I want to show you a few videos of what this kid eats on a daily basis. And what you need to understand when you look at these two videos, these clips I'm about to show you, this is every day, all right? There's no break from this. This isn't once a week so we can be healthy, and then let's go have a hamburger tomorrow night. There's no pizza, there's no hamburger, there's no chicken, there's no fish. This is what this kid fucking eats every day. Mm. Who could this be? Let's see that beautiful plate that's looking at me. Wow. Hold it up close to your beautiful chinny chin chin. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is this day three or four, Kaylin? Day four. 
fucking shit cakes and bean sprouts. That's what this kid eats every day. Shit cakes and bean sprouts. In fact, let's take a look at that. You know what? I'm just going to play this in the background as I talk. Because uh, just look at this. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Look at this. I mean, it, at first you might think, oh, you know, that kind of looks like, you know, cake frosting. Maybe that's two kinds of cake frosting put together in some weird kind of cupcake homage, right? No. No, this is... This is the stuff that you fertilize your garden with, and she thinks it's nutritious. This is what she feeds her kid every day. I mean, look at how horrible this looks. And you might be thinking, well, maybe the kid's so pale because they're filming this at night. No, the kid's that pale because all he's eating are shit cupcakes and fucking bean sprouts. And again, if Life of a Great Mommy, if that account was still up, uh, you would have seen some real interesting videos about his uh, culinary experiences. But this is the first facet of who Mama K is. She is a hardcore health nut. Up to a degree, we'll get to that later. But she runs her own website dedicated to this. She has multiple websites, but the main one that she wants to be known by, I guess, would be this. And just what is this? Well, this is Rossum Chef. This is her website. This is uh, a phrase she coined herself for a Rossum lifestyle of eating raw vegan food nonstop, nothing else. And here she promotes her different recipes and offers to give seminars and sell you different food products and recommend different food items and processors and all that fun shit. Basically, it's a scam. And what you're going to find out the more we look at her is she has many scams, many, many scams to make money so she doesn't have to get off her ass and actually work. Because, oh, if she had to work, poor baby Kalen, well, he wouldn't be able to have a camera in his face every fucking hour of the day. And so you can just imagine, based on the videos we just saw of what Kayleen eats on a daily basis, just how awesome the meals that this lady cooks up are. Why, I'm getting hungry just thinking about this website. If I were bulimic or anorexic, I would probably go with her food choices, because God knows I would be skinny as shit, because I wouldn't eat, and if I did eat, I'd throw it right up. <laughs> Stop it then, turn it off. Turn off, it looks so bad. Now, as I had said earlier, she has multiple websites. She has a huge web presence. Aside from the life of a great mommy and the multiple YouTube accounts, she has the Rossum Chef. But she also has two other websites she runs about herself. The first is SupernaturalWoman.com. And this one really is just another, another website where she basically shows off her lifestyle and all the great Rossum shit that she eats. Now, I've heard it suggested by a few people that she had a histrionic personality disorder, and that does seem to kind of fit, but she's so extreme. You know, her egocentrism, uh, her selfishness, her mood swings, I mean, it, it just it goes right past what that would be. It, there's something seriously wrong with this woman. But I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little off track. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, like I said, she has uh, SupernaturalWoman.com, just another sh uh, site to showcase her talents. But the real moneymaker, aside from... The uh, Rossum Chef one, the one where she really gets her money, is CatherineTheGreat.com. Can you guess what CatherineTheGreat.com is about? If you said a prostitution service, you are correct. In fact, let's roll that video. Sure, it's all fun and game until someone gets it in the eye. It all starts out quite innocently. Hi, RCMP Sergeant Marion. Is there a Lauren Lounge here? Excuse me? Excuse me. Is there a Lauren Lounge on the premises? Guy here. May I see your ID, sir? May I see your ID? Sir? Oh! I want you to know that it's a bust and a big one! Now, this shit is so bad, it's almost comical. It reminds me of a skit off of something like Reno 911. But what you're seeing right now is the burlesque show she offers, where she'll come in and strip for you. Oh, look at all those guys. They love this strip tease. And on its surface, it may look innocent. You may think, okay, she, she does a burlesque show. You know, she's a woman of sophistication. How, how could that be terrible? Well, again, I'd have to go back to Life of a Great Mommy. Now, if that was up and running, there are a couple videos on there where she's talking about how she makes her money. And let's say she drops some oh-so-subtle hints about what she's really getting paid for. Things such as, oh, I just got $100 because a guy really liked my leg. Or um, my favorite was, oh, I gave somebody a private massage for three hours, and they decided to pay me a little extra. Now, it, it's pretty obvious what she's doing, and uh, her videos and her blogs and her websites pretty much all hint at this. And you can even find some escort service ads from her if you do a Google search for Catherine the Great. You'll find shit, you know, Craigslist, back pages, that kind of stuff. 
where she's basically saying, I will suck your dick for money. And even when you look at Kaylin's YouTube page, because her son did have a YouTube page before she took it over, he had a couple videos on there where he was playing by himself around the age of 11 or 12 at about midnight because nobody was home because she was out doing a burlesque show. So this is her money-making ability. Such a talented woman. I don't know about you, but I sure as hell wouldn't want to pay, you know, a couple hundred bucks to have a 50-year-old woman come sit on my lap. That makes me want to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far we've seen really two facets of Mama K. We've seen her vegan insanity, you know, the rawsome lifestyle. We've seen Catherine the Great and her prostitution abilities, or I'm sorry, burlesque shows. But what really caught people's attention, again, I have to go back to this, I don't mean to keep harping on it, but was the videos on Life of a Great Mommy. All right, because these videos were fucking disturbing, and that's really kind of what started the shitstorm around this woman. In these videos you'd see a lot of the time, and one thing you should know, all these videos I've shown you, except for the, you know, the burlesque show one, obviously, because that was done as a promotional piece for the website, but every other video is her and her son. If you see a her on camera, it's her son filming. If you see him on camera, it's her filming. So a lot of these videos that were on her YouTube page were... Uh, her in a bathtub naked, him filming, or him in a bubble bath and her filming. She'd, you know, go into his room at night when he was sleeping and basically hover over him with a camera and just record for five minutes, whispering shit about how he's such her, you know, she's her uh, pretty boy. You're my pretty boy. King Kalen's my pretty boy. Really, really creepy shit. And you get this vibe when you watch these videos that this woman is really, really unstable. She had a video up where she went to the hospital when her mother was dying, and the entire time she was there, she had a camera in her mother's face, and she kept yelling at her to scream. Now, all the other relatives in the room are like, my God, you know, Mom's dying. And here she is, sitting on the bed with a camera about a few inches from this woman's face, telling her, scream for me, Mom, scream for me, as her mom moans and grumbles because she's in a hell of a lot of pain because she's pretty much on death's door. And then she had, you know, other videos up talking about dirty uncles and all this. I mean, it really painted a picture of who this woman was and kind of why she behaved like she did. So maybe you're thinking to yourself right now after, you know, what we've seen so far, well, she seems a little weird, but I, I don't really see what the problem is here. I don't see what the big deal is. So let's, let's continue on. Let's look at more of Mama K and her pretty precious little King Kalen. Now, as I said, she likes to have a web presence. She's everywhere on the Internet. I don't know why, but that's just her thing. I guess if you don't work, you've got a lot of time to kill. And so where is she on the Internet? Well, she runs a couple of blogs. Now, the first is hers. All right, she has her own blog where she rambles on at length about really crazy shit. The second one is a more interesting one. Now, the second one is her son's blog. And I'm doing air quotes here. You can't see it, obviously. But let's go take a look at it. We're going to read some of these blog entries because I think it's really going to start to show you just how fucking crazy this woman is. Now, remember, her son is 13 years old at the time these blogs are supposed to be written. So let's go read a few entries and you tell me, does this sound like something a 13-year-old boy would write? Okay, first up, we've got Friday, August 27, 2010, titled, My Hair. Today, my hair was cut by three 16-year-olds in an alleyway on my way to Healthy and Happy Living, the new organic store on Grainville. Anyways, when I was walking along the alley, a car drove by, and then about one minute later, three teenagers restrained me, cutting my hair. Now my mommy is so upset and is crying because of what happened. Boy, did that ever suck. My mommy also called the cops, and they came by in a SWAT truck and asked a bunch of questions about what happened and about the people, so I told them. And then my mommy was stopping a lot of random people and telling them not to walk in the alleyways because there was a gang. Then she stopped this redhead and started talking to her about the Agora and about how we were going to have a huge ceremony with beads and stuff in my hair. Now my mommy just left and went to go get food instead of me. It's been two hours since my mommy left to go get food, and now I'm wondering where she went. Now I'm going to download some videos onto YouTube. K-T-H-H-L, E-O-T-U. Next up, we've got Thursday, March 18, 2010, entitled Kids Nowadays. Kids Nowadays. My ex-friends always talk about porn and sex in the city. A TV show just goes to show how glad I am that I don't own a TV almost all the time. The only reason why I ever kept them as friends was because they were good people when I left Maripol two years ago. Now I know they are just dot dot dot. I don't really want to say it. Since they've been talking about porn, I decided to look it up, and I was disgusted with what I read about the descriptions from many websites. 
Now I know how ugly the Internet has made innocence. I feel almost tainted by it. Porn demoralizes women and puts them on the lowest of the low. That's the number one reason why I hate even the thought of it. It makes me feel ill. I researched it some more and saw the categories it comes in. I almost puked because of it. What really makes it sad is because when my mommy was on the computer writing a beautiful blog about me, she saw what I had searched up and we got into a big misunderstanding. Now I'm glad that it's over with and done. Just a note to all mothers and fathers, make sure to carefully monitor your child's internet browsing, especially at a young age. KTHHL! And I think we'll finish on this one. Tuesday, January 12, 2010, my mommy is one of a kind. I cannot thank my mommy enough for what she has done just for me. She's done things that a normal person would deem impossible. She has loved me, dealt with me, and yet still has enough soul power to live. I'm going to be forever grateful to her for making me into such a person as I am now. In a world where she found herself alone and without help, she raised me for over 13 years and also made sure that she made money, just barely fitting time into her schedule for herself. I have never met such a beautiful person in my life and will never again. She is one of a kind. My amazing mommy has gone through many hardships that not even a million most loving, kind, compassionate, and tender hearts could put together could comprehend. That of which my mommy has packed away in her amazing soul, body, and heart. KTHHL! Now, I'm hoping that it's dawned on you after we've read a couple of these blog entries that it's obviously not the 13-year-old boy writing them. This is something that Mama K likes to do. In fact, she does this more than once. She runs this blog pretending to be her son where she talks about how great she is and how much her son loves her. And then she also had multiple YouTube channels where she pretended to be Kaylin, and all she did was upload videos of herself. In fact, on one of the Kaylin channels, it had videos entitled things like Kaylin Climbs a Tree and Kaylin's New Haircut. And when you clicked on the video, what did you get? Well, it had nothing to do with Kaylin. It was just her in a bikini showing her tits off. Now, this fake blog in particular really helps to start to paint a picture of how emotionally disturbed this woman is. In fact, we're going to take a look at another video, and I want you to see how quickly she goes from 0 to 60 and back. I mean, it, it's like nothing. She's, you know, moderately okay one second and just destitute in tears the next, and it's really bizarre. And you've got to remember, this is what he deals with every day. And on top of it, I mean, it's one thing to be around a, an emotionally disturbed person, but it, it's not just that he has to deal with it. It's not that he just has to interact with it. She makes him get a camera and film her. Imagine being around a psychotic person who's having episodes every day, and instead of being able to lock your door or go out of the house, you have to grab a camera and film them, because they demand it. And if you don't do it, you're going to pay, you know, I mean, it's going to be hell to pay. So let's take a look at this uh, video, and you'll see what I mean. The only thing I'm sorry about is that I didn't wear my false eyelashes. The makeup artist said they're $15. I said, no. They were five last month. She said, no, they're 15. My son saw a $2 price tag. I should be wearing false eyelashes when I cry. Because look at my kitchen. I slept one and a half hours last night, did a photo shoot, naked on the rocks, and to put the sexy back in spaghetti. Stayed up too late, my $750 Vitamixer, and look what I did. Never get so hungry that you eat the end of your Vitamixer. Yeah, you didn't see me sobbing on the couch or you were saying, oh, I'm stuck in it. Why don't you clean up this mess? So, as you can imagine, this has had quite an effect on Kale and her son. Now, I would like to show you again the videos that were on the original channel, but since they're gone, I'm going to have to show you a couple of other ones. Now, these were on secondary channels she had set up, one of which was actually Kaylin's before she hijacked it from him and took it over. Now, the first video is him at about the age of 11. I mean, it's about four years old. But uh, <laughs> it's heartbreaking when you watch this. I mean, it really is fucking sad, because I think you kind of get the subtext of what the kid's actually saying. So, let's roll that. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. How are you? Uh, uh, once again. I've been trying to fly, but I can't. I can only get five inches. Darn. <laughs> Let me fly, God! Now, Kalen had a total of three Mr. Tweety videos, as he called them, that he posted, again, about the age of 11 or 12. The other two are 
they're worse. I'm just going to be honest. They're they're worse. Uh, he he talks about stuff about uh, taking sleeping pills and being hurt and no more photographs and why does mommy do that and just it's it's some really creepy shit and I'd like to show it to you but the video is starting to drag on here and I, I've got a couple more things I want to cover. Now people have said how is this kid going to turn out? I mean he's either going to turn into a complete and fucking utter uh, sociopath and just go on a killing spree or he's going to kill himself. Well, to answer that question, here's another Kaylin video, and uh, you tell me what you think is happening to him as he develops mentally. Hi, it's me. Do you like me? <laughs> Let's have a great time. Why don't we? <laughs> you smell good. <laughs> oh, you smell very good. I smell you. Mm. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Yeah, I'd say he's going to turn out just fine. Now, we've, we've looked at a lot of stuff. I mean, we, we've seen a woman who feeds her kid nothing but vegan food, and even the food that she's given him, I, I think even by a vegan standard, looks pretty fucking terrible. She constantly films him. She constantly makes him film her. Uh, there were a lot of videos, like I said, where they're you know in bed together, in the bathtub, in the bathroom. Really uncomfortable stuff. And when you go and you look into her background, you find out that she's had her kid taken away from her a couple of times but none of the investigations proved conclusive. And I think one of the reasons none of them proved conclusive is they didn't have access to the online videos. And so that's kind of what upsets me that this, you know, these white knights think, oh, I'm going to go flag this uh, YouTube account. I'm going to get rid of all these videos and they won't have their YouTube account and I've won. You know, I've stopped the evil woman from molesting her kid or fucking him up and doing all this crazy shit. But they've accomplished nothing because now the videos are gone. So now when Canadian services get involved again, when Child Protective Services steps in, when CPS steps in, all the videos are gone. You know, all, all the evidence of the really weird shit is not there anymore. And it's self-defeating to get rid of those videos. And, you know, here we are. It's gone. I can't even show them to you. And I, I'm telling you, as much as this video might have made you, you know, sway one way or the other and think, okay, she's nuts or what have you. If you had seen just a handful of the videos she had on her YouTube page, you'd be like, yeah, that's it. I'm done. Uh, she obviously is fucked up in the head. And that's not even talking about the shit that uh, she herself took down or got taken down, you know, before this started. Now, there's actually a topic on Reddit about her. And in Reddit, they talk about three videos in particular that were removed, you know, kind of at the start of this. And those really were fucked up. I mean, even by, <laughs> even by screwed up internet, you know, standards, they were fucked up. Uh, one video was him naked in the closet getting yelled at. Uh, another one, uh, she forced him to eat food, and he vomited everywhere because it was really bad. And she yelled at him and mocked him and basically made him clean it up, you know, as she scolded him. And then once he was done cleaning it up, she made him go eat more. You know, I, I mean, really crazy wire hangers kind of shit, you know, that you'd see on a bad Lifetime movie. And so that's gone. But I, the thread's still up, and maybe some people made mirrors of it. I'm hoping they did, and those videos are still out there somewhere. So... This woman is just, she's fucking bonkers. And the thing is, she's not unknown in Canada. You know, she's, she's done radio stuff. Um, she was even on TV. I'm going to show you this TV clip. Uh, get a load of this. We're gonna go. <laughs> when Catherine Marion isn't up late at night plagued by nightmares or writing about a rape she suffered more than two decades ago, she can be found on this rooftop patio trying to find a little peace. Okay, babe, let's go. On a rainy day last week, Marion went to Ferndale Institution to face her rapist and make sure he remains locked up. Robert Donald Hudler was applying for parole after more than three decades behind bars. Just to have to come full circle and completion. I, I came here because um, I felt no other reason, no other need, no other compulsion than that. It's not something I thought about, it's something that I know about. Hudler raped Marion in 1979 while on day parole for raping and killing a 12-year-old girl. Since that day, she has fought to keep him in jail. The hearing was fairly lengthy. Hudler finally accepted responsibility for his actions, but he couldn't explain why he did what he did. This after nearly 36 years behind bars. Now, I can't really talk about the validity of this because I don't know a lot of the background on it. Uh, you know, I don't know anything about this guy. I don't know really what took place between the two. But just going on how she's acted on the internet and a lot of the stuff I've read that she's written herself and the videos she's posted herself on the website she owns makes me slightly suspicious, especially how he ended that. He finally accepted responsibility even though he doesn't know why he did it. 
probably because he didn't do it. You know, uh, yeah, he's a, a convicted sex offender. He's done stuff before, but this lady is all kinds of crazy. And, uh, you know, it sounds horrible, but I, I don't know if I believe her. I don't even know if I believe her about this. Again, uh, a lot of those videos that uh, are gone now, man, there was some stuff in there where she's talking about, you know, family members doing stuff to her and neighbors doing stuff. It's like everybody uh, she ever encountered wanted to fuck her. And, and you can see her almost, you know, putting this on to her son, you know, that men are terrible and they're evil. I mean, he's a very effeminate-looking boy. If you look at a lot of the pictures of him when he's younger, you know, 8 to 12 particularly, he looks like a girl. I mean, if you didn't hear his name, if you didn't hear her say it's a him, you never would have thought that. So, yeah, I mean, this, this woman is nuts. Uh, she force feeds her kid stuff that's just disgusting, makes him film her all the time, doesn't let him go out of the house, really controlling about money, has all these emotions that are just swinging all over the place, constantly had his face in her tits, uh, constantly, you know, bathtubs together, bedrooms together, just really uncomfortable shit. And it, it really sheds light onto why CPS got called in the first place. I mean, she had neighbors calling about her. And again, if you go to the Reddit uh, topic on her, if you look it up, and I'm going to post links too, to all this shit that I've gone over in this video in the uh, video description so you can go take a look at yourself. But if you go read that, there's a transcript from uh, there's a transcript from an IRC conversation with a person who was actually her neighbor from, from the guy who lived downstairs from her. And he, he's talking about how fucking nuts she is. You know, and all the, you know, it's just, it's just mind-boggling. So there you have it, folks. That, that is Mama K. And I feel so fucking bad for her kid. When you go watch his videos, um, the King Kalen stuff when he was younger, like the Mr. Tweety shit, I mean, that's fucking heartbreaking. It really is. You know, I know it's fun to laugh and troll and blah, 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 all that shit. But it really is sad. Because you can, om I mean, the kid's crying out for help, it almost seems like. And that shit just sat there. I mean, nobody saw it. Four years, nobody saw it, of this kid dealing with this crazy shit and wanting out and having no way out, having no way out of from under the thumb of this crazy, crazy woman. And so now she's got the attention of the Internet, and I, I hope something happens with it, because she does not deserve to have a kid, and that kid sure as hell deserves to have a better life than he's got. You know, so... <laughs> Kalen, if you happen to come across this video, man, I feel for you, bro. And uh, you're 14. Hopefully CPS gets you out of that house. And if they don't, you got four more years, man. You've made it this long. Just bear through it if you can and make it another four. But hopefully other people are going to intervene and get this dealt with. All right, guys. Well, this has been Jim. Hope you liked the little video presentation. Be sure to check the links in the description. You know, don't take my word for this shit. Go look at it yourself. Because, trust me, it is a fascinating fucking thing to look into. This woman is nuts. And you really start to see how crazy she is once you start to see all the secondary supplementary stuff. All right, guys.